Today's video is suitable for RVers of all types and sizes. Give you two RV park tips, introduce you to a charming town in rural Utah called Helper, Utah, and I give you a tour of what might be one of the best RV park bathrooms ever. Stay tuned. Thanks for tuning in today. Really appreciate that. Welcome to Go Small, Live Large, a YouTube channel dedicated to the RV lifestyle, the Class B, that'd be a van, RV lifestyle in particular. My name is Scott. I'm your host. In 2017, kind of unhappy with my life. 2018, completely reinvented that, including purchase of this, a Winnebago Travado GL. And in October 2019, I went full time in this 21 foot camper van. What we do here at Go Small, Live Large is we collectively learn, share, and then you decide what's best for you and the way you want to RV. Today, I'm really excited to make this video for you. Uh, this was recorded in October of 2020 when I was leaving Salt Lake City, Utah, when I had my van lifted. Yes, if you haven't seen that video, I lifted this rig three inches, $1,000 per inch, and I am so thankful that I did meet off-highway vans. Coming out of Salt Lake City, going south, I ran into this charming little town, Helper, Utah. The roadside brown informational signs I have found to be my best friend as an RVer because it takes me to places I wouldn't normally go, like Helper, Utah, and Castlegate RV Park. So that is the Price River. This is uh, US Route 6 here. This is where you exit, historic district. And this is how you come into town. So this was my original campsite when I checked in a few days ago. What this is, this is what to technically call a tent site. So your tent would go here, but because I'm a van, um, we thought we could get away with me going here and I would just plug into the 110 outlet. But what occurred to me was two things. Love this table, right? What I realized is the Wi-Fi is super directional. There's the antenna. I'm literally on the edge right here. So I get zero, zero uh, internet right here. But I moved to this site right here by again, walking around with the speed test app, checking out where is the best Wi-Fi and the best view. And it actually worked out really well because it's been really cold here at night in the um, low 40s. And with the 110 outlet pulling 15, maybe 10 amps, that would not have worked. So moving to a 30 amp circuit ensured I had electric heat. So as you saw there in that um, on-site video, um, the, the tip here is to locate the best site for your needs with the best Wi-Fi if you're after hot Wi-Fi. Check with the staff. And then um, the, can you move around uh, based on the Wi-Fi signal and then use your speed test app available on iOS and Android to literally walk around and measure the strength of the signal and then choose a couple of sites and mark them on the map and then go into the staff and ask to, to move to a different site. Now, as I move from tent to pull through full service site, the price did go up from about $25, now well, it was about $35 to about $55, 57 bucks. Um, and that was okay. I was gonna be there for a few days and I was really after some hot Wi-Fi. And the second tip here is on the electrical explanation. Uh, what I was trying to accomplish was, again, get a tent site, which was allowed at this park. Many don't allow that at all. And then just plug in to the 110 volt uh, box. Now what that would do is it would uh, kind of trickle charge my Volta lithium ion pack. It's a very large, uh, 48 volt, 8,700 watt hour energy pack. My concern was is that I would be drawing heat um, from the electrical, uh, drawing electrical heat, which would be draining the, f the, the energy pack faster than it would be replenished from the uh, 110 volt service. And it was really cold, it was in the 40s. So uh, the heat would have been on you know, pretty hot all night. And that is why, uh, the second reason why I chose to move sites was to have full 30 amp service in that site that I moved to. So again, highly recommending Castlegate RV Park in Helper, Utah. Super cute little town. Uh, lots to do around here. Didn't do any of it except check out town.
place for a little work. Evelyn Coffee, downtown Helper, Utah. Hey, if you're learning something you didn't know before, give it a thumb up. Sure would appreciate that. Comment below. Is this kind of content and this kind of RV park and this kind of RV tip something you like? What you like best about it? What you like least about it? It's okay. You can hate on me a little bit if you'd like. And if you'd like to be as part of the success of this channel and you like this kind of content and want to know when videos are released, recent, releasing two videos a week, it sure would be an honor to have you a subscriber to Go Small, Live Large. It costs you nothing. Just hit the subscribe button and then the bell to get notified when new videos come out. It would be an honor to have you part of the success of this channel. Thank you. But what I want to do is show you this. I'm on their Wi-Fi here. Uh, let me show you that. So Castlegate RV guest, right? You can see that. Okay. Let me show you the speeds here. And we use the speed test app. And then you touch go to get uh, two measurements. One's the download speed. So this is 56, 60 megabits coming down out of the internet off the Wi-Fi. And the next measurement is, um, and that's good if you're consuming like Netflix, PBS, a passport, you know, anything like that. And this is upload speed. So 25 megabits up. So for if you're uploading photos, videos, maybe to YouTube, this is exceptional performance, ladies and gentlemen. That is almost unheard of in an RV park. Super, super RV um, park. Helper Utah, who knew? The Wi-Fi is so exceptional. It's a little directional, so um, again, what I would use is the speed test app. Go to each site um, after you kind of get checked in and see where the best Wi-Fi is if you need Wi-Fi. But again, here's the store, propane for sale. Clearly has some trash. Look at the mountain view, so pretty. Very impressive features of restrooms look at this so each room is green indicating that they're open if it was uh, unavailable it'd be uh, red look at this shower so nice brand new toilets hello everybody just a really nice and there's four of them on this side and four on the other side let me show you the uh, washer side i've never seen this before or it's a stacking washer dryer Really nice again. So I'm washing my rugs. Can't really see them. So I'll have to come back in a few minutes. This is where the store is. They're not open yet. But I would definitely come to Castlegate RV Park if you are looking for a little respite from the uh, big city life. Uh, pretty quiet, great night sky, amazing Wi Fi. Did I mention that? Amazing Wi Fi? and pretty inexpensive, about $57 uh, a night for a pull through with full hookups. So I hope you enjoyed that video today. Just again, a pleasure to make that for you. Tips on RV rig placement and tips on getting the best Wi-Fi available by moving your rig. Now this doesn't always occur and I've found that the national chains like a KOA where I'm at currently, oftentimes are not super flexible. The private parks I have found to be much more flexible, certainly if they're not jam packed with RVs, uh, for my needs and because I'm a van really small it's easy easy for me to maneuver in the park uh, so again a big shout out to Castlegate really accommodating my rig number one and my needs for Wi-Fi number two so with that we say thank you and we wish you to journey on And we've talked about this before about uh, cab orienting away from the sun. And in my case, I kind of like RV parks if they got great Wi-Fi in particular, but I don't like looking at RVs in an RV park. So what I've done uh, last night, uh, because I did all my tank duties, which are on this side um, for the entire visit, I actually had my uh, cab oriented toward the beautiful mountains because I don't want to look at you know, RVs, right? Um, but all the utilities dump uh, site and all that stuff is on this side, so that's why I rotated the rig last night, did all that because it's kind of cold and gray and drizzly today. So it's nice to do that when it's you know 60, sunny, and beautiful. All right. <laughs>